we obtained the original 100 watt gone charger for the Xiaomi 17 series. This charger features a customized USB-A port and supports 65 watt PD fast charging as well as Xiaomi's proprietary 100 watt fast charging protocol. It accepts a wide AC input range of 100 to 240 volts. The outer casing is made of flame retardant PC material with a glossy finish. Both sides of the charger body are printed with 100 watts and designed by Xiaomi. The input side housing is printed with the charger's specifications. Model, MDY-18-EW. Input, 100 to 240 volts AC, 50 or 60 hertz, 2.5 amps. Output, 5 volts 3 amps, 9 volts 3 amps, 11 volts 6.1 amps max, 21 volts 4.75 amps max, 20 volts 5 amps max, 5 to 20 volts 3 to 5 amps, 100 watts max. There is a single USB-A output port. The front end of the plastic sheet contains special pins, which enable support for Xiaomi's proprietary fast charging protocol as well as PD fast charging when used with Xiaomi's dedicated USB-A cable. The charger uses semi-encapsulated prongs with insulating sleeves, enhancing safety. The length of the charger is about 55.8 mm, 2.2 inches. The height is about 49.2 mm, 1.94 inches. The width is about 27.9 mm, 1.098 inches. Its size is approximately half that of the Apple 96 watt charger. It is slightly smaller than the Xiaomi 120 watt charger. That's how big it is in the hand. The weight is about 104 grams, 3.67 ounces. Charger Lab POWER-ZKM003C shows that it supports QC 3.0, PD 3.0, DCP charging protocols, as well as Xiaomi's 100 watt proprietary fast charging protocol. It features 4 fixed PDOS, 5 volts 3 amps, 9 volts 3 amps, 15 volts 3 amps, and 20 volts 3.25 amps, as well as 3 PPS voltage ranges for Xiaomi, 3.6 to 11 volts 6.1 amps, 3.6 to 20 volts 5 amps, and 3.6 to 21 volts 4.75 amps. Next, let's take it apart to see its internal components and structure. Cut open the casing to remove the PCBA module. The input side uses metal spring contacts for electrical connection. Inside the casing, cushioning foam and a thermal pad are applied. The front side of the PCBA module features a heatsink, and an isolation plate is placed between the transformer and the low voltage components. On the back side, there is an isolation plate along with a brass heatsink. The length of the PCBA module is about 50.2 mm, 1.98 inches. The width is about 43.5 mm, 1.71 inches. The thickness is about 22.6 mm, 0.89 inches. Remove the heat sinks on both the front and back of the module. The front side of the PCBA module contains a fuse, varistor, safety X2 capacitor, common mode choke, thermistor, capacitors, filter inductor, transformer, and blue Y capacitors. On the back side, there are four rectifiers, the primary control IC, a synchronous rectifier controller, a synchronous rectifier, a protocol chip, and a V-Bus MOSFET. The input fuse is from Better Fuse, part number 932, rated at 3.15 amps, 250 volts. The varistor is from JOIN, model 10S681K, used to absorb over-voltage surges. The Safety X2 capacitor is from Surong, with a rating of 0.068 microfarads. The NTC thermistor marked 5D9 is used to suppress inrush current at power on. The common mode choke is wound with enameled and insulated wires, features an insulating support at the base, and is sleeved with heat shrink tubing for insulation. The bridge rectifier is composed of four RS4 MBF surface mount diodes. The high voltage filter capacitor is from CapExon, rated at 33 microfarads, 400 volts. The differential mode choke is wound with enameled wire and insulated with heat shrink tubing. On the other side, there are also two high voltage filter capacitors. The filter capacitors have the same rating of 33 microfarads, 400 volts. The primary control IC is the Southchip SC3005Z, a high-performance multi-mode flyback PWM controller supporting CCM, QR, and DCM operating modes. It features built-in X capacitor discharge and high-voltage startup, enabling ultra-low standby power consumption and extremely fast startup times. The SC3005Z incorporates adaptive switching frequency foldback, achieving higher efficiency across the entire load range. 
Under heavy and full loads, it operates at maximum switching frequency, while under light loads, the frequency is automatically reduced, and in discontinuous mode, valley switching is used for high efficiency. When no device is connected, the protocol chip can put the SC3005Z into a sleep state, allowing the charger to achieve near-zero standby power. It integrates adaptive overcurrent protection to control the maximum output current on the primary side, making it suitable for USB PD fast charging and reducing current stress on synchronous rectifiers under extreme conditions. The IC provides comprehensive protection functions, frequency dithering, and intelligent drive to improve EMI performance, and comes in an SOP7 package. The filter capacitor is from CapExon, rated at 10 microfarads, 120 volts. The GON power chip is from Navitas, model on V6144C. It integrates a high-performance enhanced GON FET with a voltage rating of 700 volts and an on-resistance of 260 milliohms. It supports 3.3 volts, 5 volts, and 15 volts PWM logic input, features programmable high-precision current sensing, and includes over-temperature protection. The chip operates over a wide supply voltage range of 10 to 24 volts, offers ultra-low standby and sleep power consumption, and comes in a DPAK4L package. The transformer core is insulated with winding tape. The blue Y capacitors are from SAE, with two units connected in series to enhance safety. The optocoupler is from Lydian, model LTV-1009, used for output voltage feedback regulation. The synchronous rectifier controller is from Southchip, model SC3501. It supports adaptive turn-on detection and fast turn-off without requiring an auxiliary winding for power. The output voltage can reach up to 22 volts and drop as low as 0 volts, making it suitable for PD fast charging applications. Its patented adaptive turn-on detection circuit prevents false triggering of the synchronous rectifier and is compatible with various MOSFETs. It features ultra-low quiescent current, supports multiple operating modes, and allows both high-side and low-side synchronous rectification. The controller uses very few external components and comes in an SOT23-6 package. The synchronous rectifier is from Ceylon, marked P105 or 0NL5, model SVGP105 or 0NAL5. It is an NMOS with a voltage rating of 100 volts, an on-resistance of 3.8 milliohms, and comes in a PDFN 5x6 package. The output side is equipped with solid capacitors and a USB-A socket. The solid capacitors are from Barrel, rated at 680 microfarads, 25 volts, with two units connected in parallel. The protocol chip is a Xiaomi customized model from Southchip, marked with both the Xiaomi and Southchip logos, and labeled C4. It integrates a 32-bit high-performance MCU that supports zero standby power functionality. The chip includes an internal LDO, a V-Bus MOSFET driver, and V-Bus discharge circuitry. It features a built-in 10-bit ADC for voltage, current, and other parameter measurements, and supports line loss compensation. Internal temperature monitoring is included, with the option to connect an external NTC for ambient temperature detection. It also supports I2C communication and optocoupler feedback, as well as AC voltage and load detection. The package type is QFN24. An NTC thermistor is located on the right side of the protocol chip to monitor the internal temperature of the charger and provide over-temperature protection. The output VBUS MOSFET is from Pingwei, marked 040N03HL2, and comes in a DFN 3x3 package. The USB-A socket is insulated with a plastic housing. Well, those are all components of the Xiaomi 100W GON charger for Xiaomi 17 series.